Hey everybody, welcome back to my page, Hot Mess Express Tutorials. If this is your first time here, then we're just figuring it out one video at a time. I wasn't sure if I wanted to post this video. I actually filmed it last year and I started editing it and I just wasn't 100% confident in my editing skills. So I just kind of let it go to the wayside, I guess. With every video, I feel like I've gotten better at my editing and better at filming and knowing what to do and what not to do and I know that I'm not, you know, the best YouTuber. I work, you know, like I say, like with every video, I'm working on it to give you guys the best product and so I tried to re-edit this video so I hope that you guys really like it. Let me know what you think, I guess, comment down below. Thanks for watching guys. Alright, bye! Hi everybody, welcome back to my page, Hot Mess Express Tutorial. Today we're going to be doing some super simple and easy to put together Halloween costumes based on some hot mess characters that you might see on TV and film. Stick around and maybe your favorite character will be in this video. Take a woman like you to get through to the man in me. My first costume is The Dude, played by Jeff Bridges from the movie The Big Lebowski. This is a Coen Brothers movie if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's a cult classic. I looked up a description just because I'm really bad at describing things. Uh, this is from, I think it's called shoes or something.com and just describes his character. It says, the dude dresses like a slob in bathrobes and ripped jeans. And okay, if you want to be really generous, you could also say he doesn't really care about how the world sees him, which is part of the dude's Zen mentality about everything. So I think that this really makes him our number one hot mess. It's a super easy outfit. I think he kind of dresses like a basic bitch. Just get your cardi from home and some flowy pants, a v-neck, and you basically got the outfit if you don't want to go with the typical bathrobe outfit. Plus, you'll have a drink for the night because all he does is drink white Russians. You can either drink milk or a white Russian. I'm not going to tell you what this is. This is definitely going to be one of your most comfortable outfits to wear for Halloween. Just take those old records on. My next character costume is Joel from Risky Business, played by Tom Cruise. This character synopsis is from Character.com. And it says that he's living in his parents' mansion in the Chicago suburbs. It's a nice place, but Joel can't wait to graduate from high school. Um, so basically, in the movie, uh, he kind of just goes a little crazy and like has fun and stuff like that. Definitely a hot mess character. This outfit is so easy to create. I would say that if you are living in a colder place, definitely wear stockings. Maybe like five pairs of stockings. You can make it a little uh, slutty and do like the thigh high white socks or the knee high socks. This is literally just wear your boyfriend or your dad's or just go to Goodwill and get a really like baggy white t-shirt and a pair of black sunglasses and you're good. Also in the video he's holding a like a candlestick holder. This costed me like it, this was basically free. It wasn't. But it's such an easy costume to put together and I think that you could probably handle it. <laughs> it was a teenage wedding and the old folks wished them well. My third character costume choice is Mia Wallace from Pulp Fiction. Uh, this character is played by Uma Thurman. This is probably one of Tarantino's best movies in my opinion. So her character personality is fun loving and direct. Mia loves to let loose and do fun things uh, regardless of the consequences and I think that most hot mess human beings feel the same way. So something that you can add to this costume is blood in the nose, a uh, spoiler alert to there being blood in her nose. I won't tell you why. This costume is also super simple. You can use the same white shirt that you used in the last costume if you want to use different costumes for all weekend. So just a white uh, oversized blouse button down, your sexiest black bra, and then just black galoshes. And that's basically it. Pretty, pretty simple. Also, this is good if you have a bob. I think hers is black with things maybe. 
My hair is dark brown, so it's close enough. My last character is Tina Belcher from Bob's Burgers. I love Bob's Burgers, but I have to say that I'm definitely more of a Linda than a Tina. But Tina had this idea on the show. She said she, said she wants to be a hot mess for Halloween. So I was like, perfect. So basically she said, you know, she wants to dress herself up in like in trash and then be like have flames all around her, which I didn't do flames, but I did a red lip because I didn't have time for supplies to make the fires at this current moment. So I should have a fire lip right now. And, um, but here's my description. So it says, personality is confident yet shy, awkward yet awesome, sweet yet sensual. Tina is full of contradictions. Uh, though she can be shy and awkward, she, she's often very confident in her appearance, attitude, and personality. Plus, she loves butts. For this costume, all you need is a blue t-shirt and a blue skirt, maybe even a jean skirt if anyone still owns those. And then just like tape uh, trash to you. I used, you know, plastic bag, old bills, a lighter. And don't use scotch tape because it will definitely fall off. Use something stronger like duct tape, maybe. These are my four costumes. We've come to the end of our video. I hope that you found some easy, affordable, hot mess costumes that you can wear for Halloween uh, this year. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. You can also subscribe, send this to a friend, and comment down below which one of these looks you like the best. You can also follow me on social media. That's Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. My Hot Mess Express tip of the day is that you are never too old to dress up for Halloween. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye!